previous sessions we have created a feature file we have created a um, page layer where we have created for the login page now in this case let's see regarding the step definition over here so whatever the feature file that we have created um, that we'll have to also map with the step definition that means all the codes logic this is in the plain english language right so this we have to map with the all the logics that we have to write all the logics that we have to write along with that it it has to get mapped okay so in this session let's see how do we create a step definition file which will map the logic over here for this particular these particular steps to the step definition now we have given we have a given we have and which is again a part of the given itself and we also have an and which is again a part of given itself so we can create three different given for the step definition when is one when you click on this and then is one then what should have what should you have to validate the scenario so that is what we're creating in the step definition so let's create a step definition file over here and uh, we'll give the name as let's say we'll give the name as login underscore steps dot js okay inside this what we have to do is here we have given the uh, test case or we have written the test case in the form of gherkin language which is by inside the dot feature by using given when then and so on so these we have to map it inside the step definition file as well right which is login underscore steps dot js now what we have to uh, do is we have to just create a step definition file inside this and um, as we are trying to use a playwright bdd library inside this so we can also uh, import some of the features from the playwright bdd playwright bdd over here okay so first thing that we can import is uh, one of a one of a function that is available inside the playwright bdd known as create bdd this will help us in uh, importing some of the required keywords which is given when um, then and then some of the hooks again uh, which we can utilize in inside over here so that we are trying to import it from playwright bdd which is one of a function that is available inside the playwright bdd DD, known as create bdd which will consist of all the keywords that we can utilize in the in terms of a playwright bdd frame okay now uh, uh, let's start writing but when you start writing the things over here we require um, uh, certain things that we have to write by using a given keyword right so when you see that when you just type it out uh, given over here it is not displaying anything right here it is not displaying anything what is this given available right and we also have to uh, map this feature that we have written what the feature we have written i navigate to this particular url right? when i navigate to certain string value that we have provided over here so that we have to write it inside the feature specific things which is when i navigate to the parameter that means in the form of string url that we can take it over here and this will this will again take um, a function which will be writing over here as an asynchronous function which also gets the data in the form of um, url that we have to get so where this url will be coming from this url will be coming from the string that we have taken that we have defined uh, directly inside the feature file which is this value okay so inside this again we have to write a uh, certain logic which will which will go over here um, inside this particular function what kind of logic the, what we have to write so we are now travi traversing to the traversing to the like launching of the url and then perform certain actions now this launching of the url is available inside the login page right? that means we have to create an object for a login page and create it um, call this inside the uh, step definition 
function. Now we also have to say it as module dot exports over here to make it as a public class. Module dot export when you make it as a module dot export equals to the class name inside the uh, curly braces. That means we are trying to make it as a public image. Okay, and that that means we have to create an object for a login page. So we also have to import the login page over here. We have to import the login page. And what we can do is uh, we can create create this uh, object for a login page inside some hooks. We can use a before hooks over here, which will be again available inside uh, Playwright BDD. But those are not suggesting over here, right? So let's do one thing. Import all those keywords that we require from BDD, which is given when then and before so that we have to import it from that we can import it from again um, sorry from here the function that we have already imported so this function we can call it that from this function we are trying to import all these keywords and inside the before we can take the page fixture inside the before hooks we can take the page fixture over here, which will help us in. Which will help us in performing certain actions that we have to do, like launching the browser, launching and creating a page inside the browser and then um, launching the browser and other things will start happening. OK. And then perform this over here, which will also get stored inside this. And inside this, we can create an object for a login page. So let's define a login page um, variable over here by using which we can create an object. So we'll simply say it as login page equals to by using a new keyword, we have to create an object. And as soon as you see, if you have created object for the login page, it has been imported over here as well. Right? But it also requires a page fixture. So that page fixture now we are providing over here. Now what will happen is, as soon as the execution starts, it will go to the before hooks, create an object. And when it creates an object, this page fixture will go inside the login page constructor and initialize the page over here. And one by one, all these values will also get initialized. So that we have given, we are trying to create it inside the before hooks itself. Okay. Now in this one, uh, what we have to do is we have a method that we have created as a launch URL. So that method we can call it over here, which is await login page dot launch URL. We have a launch URL which will expect a URL. So that URL we can provide it over here. Where is this URL come will come from? The hard coded value that we have given inside feature file. Okay, so inside this, we have a method known as a launch URL. That method we have to call it over here inside the launch URL. Okay, now again, we have, uh, we are basically taking this URL. So we also have to create, we also have to uh, call some other methods as well. Right, so we have given a, uh, and I enter username, which is in the form of string. I enter password, which is again in the form of string, and then click on login button. Right? And this and are a part of given. This and are a part of given over here. Right? So that we can again start creating over. So when it is a part of given, we can simply write it using the given as well. If you see and is not available over here. And is not available inside the BDD Pukumba. And is a keyword which you will not find inside um, uh, create BDD over here. So it has given certain things what we can utilize is all the different keywords that are available. But in this case, and is uh, basically not available. And that is what it given over here inside. BDD. Okay. So uh, instead of that, or let's see um, what happened when we use an and over here in this case. Let's provide the and over here. And what we have uh, scenario over here is that inside the feature file, 
when I enter username, right? And I enter username. So we have given again and keyword, enter username in the form of again string, right? And again, write a, a synchronous function which will take a value as a username. This username will again be coming from the uh, fixtures dot feature file itself. So that enter username we can call it over here. Enter username over. Here. And then in the same way, let's uh, create one more and which is saying a password. So you have to provide the same name that it has given in this case. You have to provide the same name that we have given inside the feature file, right? The same things that we have given inside the feature file, we have to also provide it over here, which is I enter password, right? I enter password string this one, and we have to take a password over here and call the method which we have for enter password, enter password. And this password, we can pass it over here. Okay, and then we have one scenario when what is the scenario that we have is when I click on the login button. Simple, it's pretty simple. You can just write it. When I click on the login button, you can synchronous function. And inside this, we do not require any parameter to be available. Right? So we can simply write it as uh, await login page dot click login method that we have written inside this, which is click login. Okay. And last one that we have is by using a then, I should see the page containing some string value, right? So that we can again write it inside this, which will be in the form of then over here. So then using a then keyword, I should see the page containing some kind of value, right? Containing what kind of value? Again, in the form of string over here, right? And that we can take an asynchronous function, which we can again take, uh, we again have to take the value over here, right? We have to take the value, which value the, um, we basically have to write certain other things as well, which is, we. this is basically for the assertion, right? So we can um, export a search, import assertion over here, which will be an expect function, expect, um, that we will uh, import it from playwright test module. So playwright test module, right? So using this assertion, we can call all the values. Now, what do we have to uh, do over here is simple, which is await all the assertions will always go inside the um, test layer, wherever you are trying to write, let's say step definition inside that we have to write the assertion, let's see, okay. Again, by using expect login page that we have created. And from there, we have a success message. We have a success message as a, um, as a uh, locator that we have written. So that we can call it over here using success message. And then we have another method known as to contain text. Right? So to contain text is available uh, on the expect function, which will help us in validating the contains part, which is value, right? But how do we validate the value over here? Over here in this case, we have given one. We have uh, given one value inside the uh, inside the uh, success message, right? So that message we have to provide it over here in the form of uh, uh, whatever the value that we are trying to get. So where are we trying to get the value? We are trying to get the value from again the file itself, like feature files. Where is the feature file? We have given logged in successful. Inside the feature files, we have given a logged in successful. So that logged in successful message, we have to import it inside uh, again, like we have to get it inside our step definition file. So here we can get those uh, value, which is Let's say I'll just say it as message. So what kind of message? It will again come it from the come from the step definition uh, from the feature files. Okay, so this is the complete step definition we have written using um, again for the 
playwright specific where we have used a before hooks we have used given and i think like and will not work but let's see what is happening okay so that's about the creation of a step definition and in the next session we'll start uh, execution of the test case and then see how it works how it works